I'm Karina Bruteres and I'm playing the second movement from Neil van der Bart's Suite for Recorder and Piano. Thank you. 
the Neil van der Vaart piece, um, I, I received the music and all it said was waltz, Nobel, but I couldn't remember, but there was no composer's name there. So I'm glad I, I was at least informed as to who the composer is. And when I looked at the piece without knowing who it was by, I thought, but this is a flute piece. It's very high. Um, but it works incredibly well on the recorder, I must say. And I think you played it in such a way, just watching you play, not only listening, but just watching. I, I, it, I got the feeling that you really enjoy the piece. Um, you, your tempo control was excellent um, in that you were able to have flexibility, musical flexibility where appropriate. And it, it all came across very well intended and successful. I, I really enjoyed that. So thank you very much for that. Please keep it up. Um, the, uh, I just have to get myself back to the, yes, the, um, the Bernstein piece, everything was, was rhythmically in place, um, but I think it's just that something has to happen to let go so that you can do it a little bit quicker. Because the success of that rhythm, it's one of the best pieces if ever you want to teach somebody what a hemiola is. In other words, changing from duple to triple time in the same measure. Um, it works a little bit better if it is faster. I think just go and check that metronome marking and you'll probably find da 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 ti 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 da bum bum pa 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 pi bum bum. But that comes with 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 knowing the piece very very well and and with confidence. So what you did was 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 fine at this stage, and I think it was well prepared. But just think that there could be a little bit more something something with the tempo, we'll just lift the piece. Also just a few little things, just take care with your top E and your top E flat. Sometimes I had difficulty hearing whether the E was an E. So I think you might have played E flats, be very careful. Also, um, you always have to check, there's no such thing as an in-tuned wind instrument. You have a fingering chart, but you have to double check and see. Sometimes you have to adjust fingerings. And that top E flat, sometimes with the right hand, because of the airspeed, you find that you need, you know, you, you want to blow the nose a little bit louder and it can be sharp. So you might need to put another finger down with the right hand just to control the tempo. You have to experiment with that. The recorder is one of the most difficult instruments in terms of intonation. Um, simply because it's got. These are not my words, who said it, it was Walter van Hal. So there are, there are probably about 2,000 fingerings on the recorder. Alternate fingerings, ways that you can play notes with different colors and different dynamics. For those who believe the recorder is devoid of dynamics, please change your ways. <laughs> it definitely can give great dynamic effect. Um, and it's all largely through choices of fingering. So just 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 uh, just double check those, please. and then the Vivaldi concerto. Um, I, I really appreciated here that you did not push the tempo beyond what the music is trying to the story the music is trying to tell. One hears this piece quite often, and I know that the the, the, the title, La Tempesta di Mare, the Storm at Sea, um, but it can sometimes get a little bit out of control. Um, so in time, you could push it, the tempo up a little bit, but for now, your control of the tempo was, 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 was perfect. I really, I really enjoyed that. I could understand what you were doing. Just tiny things, um, the ba-da, diddy, da-da, diddy, those rhythms. It's almost like what I said about the, the Leopold Mozart quote. Um, if you play them too Literally, they don't come across with the desired effect. In other words, the whole thing about longer notes, longer, shorter notes, shorter. Experiment a little bit. And, and 
try and try and try and be a bit daring and see if you could make it even shorter and longer rather than just literally a semi quaver and a dotted quaver. Um, you'd be amazed at the effect. Of course, keep the beats, please. <clears throat> but otherwise, I thought um, very convincing performance. And of course, because this goes on to a second movement, um, very beautiful one of that, which you didn't play, um, you ended the piece in a very appropriate way. So it was, it was nice just to not end hanging in the air on the dominant. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the play. And most of all, I appreciate, even if you don't realize it, you're telling a story and the story comes across and you have always got to be aware that never underestimate your audience. Somebody there will pick up what you're trying to say or not say. So be sure that you have something to say. And in all cases, I felt, yes, you, you, the preparation shows. So this is for me very, very warming, very satisfying to, to see this level of work. And um, I, I really hope that I can hear you at some stage again in the future. Please keep it up. <laughs>